you know, I uh, mentioned earlier, this is my fourth performance before you at the FLCA. And uh, I thought, gee, it'd be fun to be a member. So I went out and got this, well, I couldn't afford a big motorhome. <laughs> but I got a motorhome. And, well, let me just tell you in song, this is my true story about having joined the FMCA. Well, we drove to the Midwest Regional Rally in our 18-foot RV. Security told us to go to Road D in Space 183. My wife got out and directed me. She pointed left and right. I backed up and I couldn't see her. She'd moved clean out of sight. <laughs> Next thing I knew, I heard a crash, so I opened up my door. I walked around and saw my rig in Space 184. In the side of a 40-foot country coach with a wooden shingle that read, we're Bert and Ethel, and welcome aboard. God bless you all, it said. <laughs> Association of the U.S.A. Friday morning I walked our dog down the concrete center barrier. The leash slipped off and he got away and bent Bert and Ethel's terrier. <laughs> Poor little dog didn't have a chance and Ethel's face went pale as she watched the dog have his way and then bite off his tail. that stretched a country mile. I went through the line a dozen times and filled up with a smile. When I was done, I found a box and filled it with extra food. But the head of security took it away and he told me I was rude. <laughs> of my recreational vehicle and I drive it every day from the East Coast to the Midwest States to the fairgrounds in L.A. And the arts and crafts display with the Family Motor Coach Association of the USA. Saturday night they had a band that played till almost 10. We danced and sang and told some jokes and drank a quart of gin. My wife and I were dancing and I spun around the floor. She spun right into Bert and Ethel and knocked them out the door. The medics came and took them away to get emergency care. When they came back, Bert's head was sore and so was Ethel's derriere. Well, they were covered in their country coach. My generator wouldn't shut down. We played our stereo all night long to drown out that motor sound. <laughs> situation. They decided to come and visit us and end our rally vacation. So we packed our stuff and rolled up the awning and left Space 183. I drove down the road and couldn't help but notice everybody was looking at me. People were smiling and waving goodbye and cheering along our route. Then the cat popped off of my holding tank and my rig kind of rattled things out. As I looked in the rear view mirror, all the see was Bert and Ethel with the baseball bat and they were swinging at my army. <laughs>
Coach Association of the U. 